So how smart are crows? We believe they're very intelligent. There's a lot of things that, you know, we don't know about them. Like how do they know when to migrate? And how do they find the same place when they do come back? And, you know, what kind of navigation system do they have? Their memory is incredible. They know how to use tools to get food. So, they're very intelligent. Hey guys, it's Dennis here. And it's time for another question and answer video. Or a peaches corner, whatever you want to call it. But peach isn't in the corner today. But we got that question from one of our uh, subscribers and viewers. They asked, like, what do you think the age of intelligence they are compared to humans? Like, what do they think, 14 or, or something like that? And, you know, I don't really know, obviously. I'm not a scientist or anything. And, and do the scientists even know? I've read that they think crows have the intelligence level of a seven-year-old, which would be amazing too. But when you think of it, could a seven-year-old do the things crows do? Right? And could a crow do what a seven-year-old can do? But they are they can they can solve problems and they can get food and they can use tools to get food and and they migrate thousands of miles like back and forth and they find the same place. So I don't know what what uh, equivalent they would be on but you know I, I believe it's they're quite intelligent so that's up for debate right guys what do you guys think you weigh in on that and there's peach he's really molted nicely it took a long time but he's doing well uh, goldman uh, walking again that's the one who asked the question about the intelligence he has a joke here a real funny joke it says uh Last week my body fell off. I looked everywhere for it, but couldn't find it. After a month I decided to quit while I was ahead. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You get it, guys? <laughs> while he was just ahead. <laughs> That's the kind of jokes I like. They're kind of corny, but they're clean jokes, right? So I don't mind that. There's... That's a lot of fun. I like that sense of humor. So Goddess110 asks, Do you think Cherry will ever become imprinted? Uh, no, he won't. I I'm sure he won't. Like, there's a period there, you know, there's a little bit of the period when they're young that they go through. And they're set for life after that. Like, Jerry accepts his limitations, I'm sure. But he's never going to be comfortable with us. And he's never going to be imprinted. Like, it has to happen at a certain stage. Just like a dog, like, goes through a fear period. Some dogs, like, when you rescue a dog, they they have something that's that might not be right with them, right? They might be scared of something that other dogs aren't, or maybe they don't want to go in the car, or maybe they don't want to go in the water. They're, they're just terrified. So there's a period in an animal's life, even in people's lives, that they go through and that could determine how they are for the rest of their life. Carol the Crow has a couple questions here. She asks, will we ever take the birds back to the beach again like we used to? Used to hang out on the beach? Due to the bird flu now these years, we're probably not going to do that because the birds would be pecking in the sand and stuff. There's some water dripping from the roof here. It just rained recently. We didn't uh, push that off. But, you know, we're kind of scared of the wild birds. There's a lot of seagulls out there and stuff. And other wild birds that carry that, that flu. So we're kind of scared to do that. So we're probably likely not going to do that, Carol. Seem more like a comment, Carol, but I think what you were getting at was do uh, birds live longer in captivity? than in the wild. Yeah, they do because they get a constant food supply. They're protected from predators. Then like the flu and stuff. So they will live longer in captivity. And we love these birds so much that they, they, mean, the, they mean the world to us. So we want to protect them the best we can. There's Peach in the corner now. If you hear Pie mumbling over there, check the link below to see that video or he was really going at it. Got another question here. Redhead3110. <laughs> Good name. What's your oldest crow and how, how long have you had him? Well, here he is, Peach. Peach is eight years old and we rescued him in 2015. So we've had him ever since. He's eight and we've had him for eight years. Another good question from Carol the Crow. Do you ever, do you, or do you still bathe Cherry? Like even at the farm? Actually, we don't, Carol. 
because he he gets to go here when I'm not in here he's in this tub here like like I said like answered the other question he'll never imprint but when we're not around he's more uh, he's more comfortable and he's doing things he's farming and he's going in the water so he's bathing in here when he wants and even in the winter when we're bringing them he's having a snow bath so there's not really a need like the city because the city he didn't get out much there it wasn't the same as here and we we had to bathe him so as it's as it sits now we're not bathing him anymore he's looking after his own uh, hygiene <laughs> ronald wisneski sorry if i miss if i didn't pronounce that properly he's asking do the birds play with toys do they like playing with toys yeah they do even cherry he's not imprinted and you hang toys in the cage sometimes and he's pecking at them and banging them and and he enjoys it so sometimes yeah they like to play with toys i might have to do another talking video he's <laughs> he's making some noises in the corner but here's a question from someone what a wild name this is user vg 4 mw 8 su 4 <laughs> what is the clacking sound that birds are making and why do they move from side to side on a branch sometimes like they've they've observed that like why are they going back and forth you know we're not quite sure with the crackling sound you know if you ha you have a youtube channel if you're able to comment you do have an account if you can ever record that upload a little clip of that and then publish it and then we can go take a look at it like if you can do that just record it with your phone you don't have to do any professional recording just try to get that sound because i'm not quite sure and yeah we've seen these birds they go th they're dancing from side to side and you're, you said why would they do that not 100% sure, but it could be, you know, they're nervous or excited, either way, right? If they're, like, if I started to go in closer to Cherry, he would start getting nervous and going back and forth. So, may, maybe that's, uh, fly buzzing around here, not many flies, but, but maybe that's why. Like, either excited or nervous. There's the pup. The pup and Peach get along great, because they were born in the same year. They're from two, 2015. They're both eight years old and they grew up with each other and they both imprinted on each other. Cassie's used to, to Peach and Peach is used to Cassie. Not all the birds are like this. They're, they're used to seeing Cassie around. They used to be, you were used to seeing Sammy the Boss too. Sammy the Boss passed away in December of 2021. I still miss him. But uh, Peach wasn't scared of Sammy. Sammy would come in and come cruising and look and check them out sometimes and Sometimes we hear cat noises to this day. Peach makes those noises. And even little pie makes some strange noises like a cat. So they remember Sammy. Yeah, there's Peach. Peach is in the corner. Actually, I can call it Peach's Corner. You know? <laughs> but the title was How, How Smart Are Crows? They're very smart. They're very intelligent. And there's a lot of unknowns about them, like even how they communicate. Maybe they read minds, who knows? Sometimes we see them like real close together. You'll see Maple's beak far, down by uh, Peach's head and Peach's beak down by Maple's head. And it's like they're in deep thought. And they're right up close to each other. There's no noises going on, there's no movement, and they're not sleeping. So maybe it's like some mind reading, you know, like how do we know, right? Also someone asked, recently why isn't Kulika filming more with the birds since you know like Pai talks like her and the birds are all like like she's their their mother or something but you know these birds are close to both of us the same like I found Peach the same day Kulika did and Peach is imprinted on me just as much as Kulika and I used to come with my car, I remember in the beginning, and she said, he's dancing around, getting excited. That's that moving back and forth. Because I'd pull up in my vehicle, it was rumbling, and he was excited, he knew it was me coming. So, he's excited to see me as much as I am him, and like Kulika and I share the same thoughts with the birds, and I'm sure the birds are used to us just the same. And I care for these birds very much, I feed them. I, oh, there's some... A pie went to go tease a peach. You know, I interact with them. I'm in here filming. Not anyone could come in here and stand with the camera, guys. If one of you were here and you came in here, they'd be squawking and screaming. It'd be like bloody torture. Like, they're used to me. They know me. They trust me. I'm a food provider. 
and they know I love them. They, even little pie, he comes right up to me. Pie, pie will go on my hand even. Like little pie, he might not sound like me, but he, he, he cares for my attention too. So, and, and Kulika is, is so busy with the garden. Like I've told her, go do a video. And she says, well, then I got to have a shower. Or I got to wash. I don't want to change my, put clean clothes on. I'm full of dirt and sweat. And she says, I want to look presentable. You, you know, I understand that. Sometimes I don't, I just come out of bed or something. I'm going to do a video. I don't care how I look. Are you here to see, am I a Mr. Wonderful or something? Clint Eastwood? <laughs> I'm not an actor, but I like to talk to you guys and explain things. That's the way I, I do it. I don't just show things and talk and narrate. I like to look at you guys and and connect in some way. And some of you I have connected with. And I appreciate all the nice comments. But if Kulika could film more, she would. But for six months, she's busy in that garden. And she's going to do updates on that other channel. If you don't know, guys, I'll put the link below to the other channel. She does a lot of work there. And that's her baby too, the garden. That, that I'll admit, I have nothing to do with. That's all hers. And she can take all the credit because she does all the hard work. But in here, I love these birds and I do the best for the, these birds that I can. And, you know, they're my family also. But if she could get in here and film more, she would, but she can't. If I said I'm not filming no more, you won't, you won't see no videos again, guys, because she's too busy and she just can't. I mean, she'd have to, I guess, but she just can't drop what she's doing. And Anyways, I just wanted to say that. And so... I hope you enjoyed this video. And look at Cherry. Hello, Cherry. He's so proud high up there. And they don't like to be handled, these birds, by anybody. Like, even Kulika, they don't... She handles them. I don't handle them. That I'll admit. I help with the care. Sometimes I help hold the bird if we had to give medicine before in the past. But she does all the handling of them, and they don't like being handled. None of the birds really like being handled. They'll step up for her, but... Uh, cherry for sure doesn't like it. Spice doesn't like it being, being handled. Uh, maple doesn't like being handled. You know, it's just, just the way it is. So we'll see you in the next one, guys. Give a big thumbs up if you like this. And uh, hopefully we can keep doing videos. And maybe one of these times I'll get cool looking here to do a video. But no promises. <laughs>